On the cliffs above the Adriatic Sea's eastern coastline, a stone house has stood for at least a quarter millennium. It is located in the country now called Montenegro, a nation at the epicenter of some of Europe's most important history. Paul Dishman was overwhelmed when he first saw the building with his own eyes, both because of its proximity to the events of the past and its personal significance. We're in Drobnici, Montenegro. It sits on the Adriatic coast. And the reason we're here is because my grandfather was born in this house. This is the house of Radovich. His name was Phil Radovich. Two generations ago, Dishman's maternal grandfather, Philip Tomo Radovich, left the familiar dwelling in the coastal village of Dromanici to find opportunity at the other end of a world, eventually settling as a cook at an Arizona mine. Now, as one of the world's newest independent states tries to find its way, Dishman is bringing Montenegro a chance at the same opportunities his grandfather afforded him by leaving all those years ago. In January 2010, Dishman began a six-month Fulbright Scholarship in Montenegro to teach marketing at the University of Donia Gorica, which is located in the country's capital, Podgorica. The incoming chair of the marketing department in UVU's Woodbury School of Business, Dishman brings a unique skill set and conveniently, precisely what the country needs right now. It's very important that uh, students have uh, uh, communication with uh, one foreign professor, not only t today, in the future, because maybe some of them go to America, accommodation, uh, maybe go to the Utah postgraduate studies. Professor Vesel and Vukatic, he has a vision of a growth program based on private enterprise for Montenegro, and in many ways he is leading the forefront and is a vanguard for this movement. He may be dragging that country, kicking and screaming from one economy to the next. And it is a huge challenge, but one that needs to happen if they're going to participate in the European Union. Another link is Pavla Radovanovic, Secretary General for the Chamber of Economy in Montenegro. Dishman will work closely with Radovanovic to identify economic development opportunities for the country. And, of course, he teaches international marketing to about 120 students at UDG. In the spirit of reciprocation, Dishman students at UVU will also benefit from his time at UDG. Lecturing there has been a new experience for Dishman, one that has forced him to adapt his techniques to a different audience. Those techniques will help him deliver information to American business students whose learning processes are constantly evolving. I learned to teach in a way that I never would have considered before. I got an opportunity to examine the material that I was delivering through the eyes of not only non-Americans, but the eyes of people that in some ways didn't even know what business was. To live with them and enjoy life with them and share their passions and their sorrows. I'm hoping it leads to a fuller and brighter life for me and the people that I touch when I get back to UVU. That's the essence of a Fulbright.